You always wanted to use the book as the menu inside of your game? Maybe to create more immersion or just because you like the idea of a fully interactive and animated book that seamlessly blends with your game? I've got something for you. Here's my Unreal Engine animated book menu plugin from the marketplace. In this video, I will show you in four main parts how to use the most essential features of my plugin. In the first part, we're going to create and set up a new Unreal Engine project. In the second part, we're going to create a player pawn and place it onto the map. In the third part, we're going to add a book menu component and perform some animations. And in the last part, we're going to add some basic mouse interactions. Before we create the project, we need to take care about some preconditions. First, make sure you have the Unreal Engine 5.3 or later installed. And second, make sure you have installed the book menu plugin inside the engine. In the first step, we are going to create and set up a new project. To do that, start the Unreal Editor and under Games, select the blank project template. Make sure to select the project type Blueprint and choose a name like I did it here and click on Create. Let's set up some settings. Go to the project settings and in the search bar type in UV. Find the option Support UV from Hit Result and enable it. This option is required to get extra information from line traces to derive the UV coordinates from a hit result. You can ignore the restart message for now. Close the project settings window and go to Edit Plugins. In the plugin search bar, type in the word Book. You should now see the animated book menu plugin. Enable the plugin and restart the editor. Before we continue with the next step, let's save the map. Click on Save All and choose a suitable location to save the map. I'm going to save the map inside a new folder called My Book Menu. Let's head over to the project settings again. This time, type Map into the search bar. Find the option Editor Startup Map and set it to Our Map. To speed up the creation process, I'm going to copy some files from the content folder of the plugin into our project folder. In order to see the plugin content, make sure Show Plugin Content is enabled in the options. Now navigate to Engine, Plugins and find the folder Animated Book Menu Content. All we need for this tutorial are the following two files. The Book Menu Actor Blueprint from the Blueprint folder and the Example Book Menu Data from the Data folder. Copy them and rename them as follows. Next, we want to create a new blueprint. Click anywhere on a free space inside the Content Browser and select Blueprint Class. Select Pawn from the list and name it Player Pawn. Now, open the Player Pawn blueprint we just created. On the left side under Components, you can see the list of components attached to the pawn. The first component we want to add is a camera component. So, with the default scene route selected, click on the plus icon and type in Camera. Select the camera component from the list. Now, open the Viewport tab. With the camera component still selected, go to the right side under Transform and set the component C location to a value of 100. Hit Save and Compile. In the 3D viewport of the project, make sure our map is still loaded. In the Outliner, find the player start and double-click on it. This will frame up the player start inside the viewport. Now, delete the player start. And next, drag and drop the player pawn onto the viewport. With the player pawn still selected, go to the detail panel on the right side and find the option Auto Possess Player and set it to the value Player Zero. Save all and hit the play button. Now that we have set up the pawn, let's add a book menu component. On the player pawn blueprint, on the left side under Components, make sure the camera component is selected. Click on the plus icon to add a new component. Type in Book and select the Book Menu Component. Make sure the Book Menu Component is attached directly to the camera component. Open the Viewport tab. 
With the book menu component still selected, go to the right side under Transform and set the component's X location to a value of 70. Next, find the option Book menu Actor class. Set its value to the previously copied Book menu Actor. Now, find the option Book menu Data. Set its value to the previously copied Book menu Data asset. Hit Compile and Play. As you can see, we now have an open book right in front of the player's camera. Let's go back and have a closer look onto the book menu data. The book menu data is a new asset type that comes with the plugin. It describes parameters about the appearance and the contents of the book. You can create instances of this asset type via the context menu of the content browser. Open the book menu data we already have. Here we can see parameters for the skeletal mesh, the animation instance and the material mapping. The next section describes the actual content of the book. This is the place to define the user widgets, which will be rendered onto the pages of the book. A page section is always a pair of two widgets. Page 1, which is the widget of the left page, and page 2, which is the widget of the right page. You can define as many page sections as you want. Their index in the list is the so-called page section index, which is important later to navigate inside of the book. The parameter cover material defines the appearance of the cover. The next two parameters can be used to define the default state of the book when the game starts. The book begins play open parameter controls if the book shall be already open when the game starts. The start page section parameter controls which page section shall be displayed when the game starts. This parameter only applies if the book begins play open parameter is set to true. The last time we hit play, the book was already in an open state and showed the page widget at index 1. Let's change that. Uncheck the book begins play open parameter and hit save. Now click on the play button to check the result. Okay, let's care about controlling the pages of the book. Open my book menu actor, the one which we just have copied earlier in this tutorial. In the My Book Menu Actor Blueprint, go to the Event Craft tab and locate the Begin Play function. Because we are not using the parameter Book Begins Play Open from the Book Menu data, we want to open the book first. Because Begin Play is also exactly the moment where the whole initialization of the book, the rendering and the anim instance happens, we should not call any book controls on Begin Play directly. So if you need the book to being open right after the start of the game, either use the book begins play open parameter or add a delay to the begin play function before calling any other book control function, such as book open add. In our case, we want to choose the second option. Therefore, drag off a connection from begin play and type in delay until next tick. That's already enough for the other components to initialize. From the delay until next tick node, Drag off a connection and type in Open Book Add. The section index parameter defines the page section which shall be displayed while opening the book. Let's set it to 1. Hit Save, Compile and Play. You can see that right after the start of the game the book opens at page section 1. Ok, now let's add a page turn. From the book menu Open Add, drag off a connector and type in Set Timer by Event. Then drag off the event pin and type in add custom event. Name the custom event page turn zero. On the set timer by event function, make sure the time is set to three seconds. And that loop is unchecked. Next, drag off a connection from the turn page zero event and type in jump to page section. The section index parameter should be set to zero. Hit save, compile and play. We can see that the book opens as before and after 3 seconds the book performs a page turn from left to right. Ok, I think that's basic enough, so let's move on and add some mouse interactions. In this part of the tutorial we are going to add some interactions to the book. Open the player pawn blueprint. On the left side under components make sure the default scene root component is selected. Click on the plus icon to add a new component. Type in the word book and this time select book menu interaction. 
make sure the book menu interaction component is attached to the root of the actor and not accidentally to the camera component. Then in the viewport, move the book menu interaction component just behind the camera component to bring it out of view. You may also move it up a little bit. Next, find the parameter book menu interaction actor class and set its value to book menu interaction actor BP. Go back to the event graph and drag off a connection from begin play. Type in register interaction component and select it. For the in interaction component parameter, simply drag in the book menu interaction component from the component list and connect it with the input. This will register the book interaction component inside of the book menu actor. Next, we want to set the input mode of the game and show the mouse cursor. Drag off a connector from register interaction component and type in set input mode game and UI. This node needs a reference to a player controller. Therefore, right click somewhere in a free space of the node editor and type in get player controller. Connect it with the respective input of set input mode game and UI. Drag off another pin of the get player controller and type in show mouse cursor and select set show mouse cursor. Set it to true and connect the execution pins like this. This will give us a mouse cursor inside of the game. Next, we want to create a mouse trace onto the book pages. This in fact is very easy because the plugin already provides functions that care about all the tracing. To perform the mouse trace every frame, find the tick event function. Drag off the connector of the event tick function and type in create mouse trace parameters. This will simply determine the mouse position on the screen and create some parameters which can be used to perform the actual tracing. This function requires a player controller as well as its input. Make sure to set the trace distance parameter to a value of 500. Drag off a connector from the pin success and type in interact. Connect the mouse trace parameter with the respective inputs of that function. The interact function takes care about multiple things. It creates the line traces and performs the interaction with the book menu interaction component. If you want, you can enable the parameter debug trace, which will visualize the line traces. Now it's time to hit play and see what we did so far. The book opens as usual and performs the page turn. If we move the mouse cursor over the book pages, we can see the debug lines. And if we hover any UI control elements, such as the button, we can see that it get highlighted. If we try to perform a left click, we will recognize that it does not work yet. So let's change that. Back in the player pawn, add a mouse button event. Right click somewhere in a free space of the event graph and type in left mouse button. The input of the book menu interaction component is built upon a standard feature of Unreal Engine and uses the so-called widget interaction component. Therefore, drag in the book menu interaction component and drag off the pin and type get widget interaction component. This widget interaction component is the before mentioned standard component which comes with the engine by default. We can use all the features of this component like we would directly interact with a 3D widget component. These are features like press and release pointer key. Therefore, drag off the pin of get widget interaction component and type in press pointer key. Connect the key parameter and the execution pin accordingly and repeat the same for the release pointer key. That's basically everything we need to realize a left mouse button interaction. So hit save, compile and play to check the results. As we can see, the book opens just as before, performs the page turn and now has interactive UI controls, which are actually clickable with the left mouse button. In the next step, I would like you to check if the like and subscribe button of my channel is also clickable. So hit save, compile and like. And if you have learned anything and want to support my work, please also check out my Unreal Engine Marketplace page. There you'll find cool stuff to speed up your own game development and you will help me to create more content, plugins, tools and tutorials like this. See you there, keep on creating.